projects seem easy, and that's the problem. We underestimate what is required to do a professional job. Find out what we should be doing in today's show. Welcome back to year four of this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie franchise owner, Tokyo, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaegyo is the Japanese translation of Japan Sales Mastery. My new book is Stop Wasting Money on Training, or in Japanese, Training de Okane o Buru ni Sunu wa Yamimashou. We are bringing this show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center in Akasaka, in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 168, and we are talking about project management made easy. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to be successful as a leader, do the Leadership Training for Managers course. All companies need people who can both manage and lead. Leading people screams out for real skills in communication, dealing with all different types of people, being excellent at innovation, planning, delegation, handling mistakes, doing performance reviews really well, and inspiring and motivating the team. Do the Leadership Training for Managers course now in either Japanese or English. Are you doing business with Japan? Do you really know how things work? Japan Business Mastery provides the answers. Do you have the right networks and know how to create them? Do you know how to get on the same wavelength with Japanese buyers? Do you know what being trustworthy looks like from the Japanese perspective? Japan Business Mastery is based on more than 30 years experience in Japan and will become your go-to guide. Want to succeed in Japan? Buy Japan Business Mastery now. Welcome back. Okay, now it's time for the show. So let's get going. Project management made easy. Projects have been around for a long time, of course, and in the modern era, we have accumulated a vast amount of best practice on how to manage them. It isn't usually that we don't know what to do. It is that we don't actually do it. We can get into trouble when we just leap in and dig straight into the logistical entrails without giving enough thought to the macro 360 degree view of what is involved. Here are 10 rules for ensuring that what needs to get done is completed on time and to expectations. Number one, mind our business. Keep our eye on the ball, especially defining what is inside and outside the project scope. This often changes midstream. Number two, know the customer's requirements. Double check. You've properly understood the detail, document it, and keep checking against that documented record, especially if there are changes needed. Number three, plan well. The plan will cover the scope, schedule, cost, approach, etc. Involve task owners to gain buy-in and apply a strong reality check to what you have created. Strangely, the planning value comes from the creation process and not just the project outcome. It forces some hard thinking, tough prioritizations, player commitments, clear controls, smooth coordination, and cooperation. Basically, the things at which companies are usually rubbish. Number four, build a great team with strong ownership. Motivation of the team is critical, so we need total clarity around the why, trust, communication, sufficient resources, and mutually agreed deadlines. Number five, track progress, frequent reviews, wide visibility, broad communication, clear goals are needed. These are hard and soft aspects to most projects, so ensure we don't overlook the soft skills needed to succeed. Number six, 
Use baseline controls. These are the fundamental building blocks against which we steer the project forward and against which we alter course when needed. Number seven, write it, share it, save it. Here is the holy grail of project management. Write it down. If it isn't written down, it doesn't exist. Document procedures, plans, evolving designs. Baseline controls are compared against the preserved records. Repeatable projects especially need this record to which are added the fresh set of insights and learnings. Number eight, test it. Jumping into new territories with both feet can be a high risk. Better to develop test cases early to help with understanding and verification of what is required to succeed. Resources and time are the most often underestimated elements, so an early testing helps to flush out the gaps. Number nine, ensure customer satisfaction. Make the customer's real needs the prism through which everything is viewed. Undetected changes in customer requirements or not focusing on the customer's business needs blows up in our faces. Number 10, be proactive. Be proactive in applying these principles and in identifying and solving problems as they arise. Review and search for problems knowing there are people dedicated to hiding issues. Vigilance is a virtue we all need to practice when working on projects, especially anticipating trouble before it arises or becomes too explosive. Take a fresh look at your methodology for approaching projects. You might be surprised at how loose and inefficient it is. We can all do better, and these 10 rules will help us on that journey. I hope you enjoyed today's show, and so please subscribe to it on YouTube. Share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now, dale-carnegie.co.jp. It's awesome value, so check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we're releasing content six days a week. By the way, how many companies, let alone training companies in Japan, are doing that, do you suppose? Answer, just one. Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training. Now, for podcasts, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentation Japan Series, and every second Tuesday for the Business Touches in the Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan Series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan Series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews, wherever you get your podcast. For TV shows, Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, every second Thursday we release the Business Pro Television Show, every Friday the Japan Business Mastery Show, and every Saturday Japan's top business interviews on YouTube. We appreciate your support, and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people, and please join us in that endeavor. Our training mantra is, we are 100% committed to using our soft skills training to transform your career and business. Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training are in your corner here in Nippon. In episode number 169, 169, we're talking about negotiate like a pro, Onigai Tashimas, please join me next week to master business here because that is what we all want, isn't it? Japan business mastery.